Hey guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we will buy the Crimson Rush Lucky Draw. It's my favorite ever and I only bought one Lucky Draw in the past. It was the Cosmos Lucky Draw. I did pass on all the other Lucky Draws, but this one, like I said, if I see something I really want, I'll go for it. Another thing in today's video, guys, is the brand new event for the Chinese New Year. There's a bunch of questions on the new event on Reddit and on my YouTube comments, how to get these knots or what to do with these. So we'll take a quick look at the end of the video, but let's get started guys. And we'll go for the lucky draw first. Now, before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Just click that button to help me reach my goals. And so you won't miss an upload. Let's do this guys. It's not a surprise or a scam. We know now, like the first lucky draw was pretty scammy or shady, but now we know. To get the costume or the skin, the character skin, 0.8%. So most likely you'll get it on your very last roll. And yes, we will see some guys get lucky and get it on the first spin. Same thing for the weapon. A lot of guys got it before the end because the 1.25% chance. But most likely the gun and the soldier will be your last two rolls. And if you watch Hawk's Nest video, that's exactly what happened. And pretty sure Ferg got the skin on the last roll also. So I do expect that I will have to spend 11,000 COD points today. And let's start with the first one, guys. 40 COD points for uh, Wingsuit. Okay, let's go. Uh, now it's 80 COD points. So yeah, it's gonna go up and up and up until you reach like 30,000 something. That's the backpack. Cool backpack, by the way. If you have a few COD points and you wanna gamble, you can spin once, twice maybe. But then after that, 160 starts to get expensive for M16 or something like that. Uh, yeah, so if you go for it, be ready to go all the way. And we got the parachute. Pretty epic. We'll probably play that today in Battle Royale just to look at everything. All right, 320 now for spin number four. Damn, uh, AKS Uncommon Heart. So that's a pretty expensive AKS, right? 600 cut points now and we still have the m16 would be nice to uh i was gonna say would be nice to not get it and would be the last roll imagine if you have a trash item on your last roll you don't have to pay 3000 cut points at the end this is a thousand now and we don't have much left there's the shotgun that we'll probably never use and we have like four more the knife the arctic 50 there's a knife. So see guys, wow, pretty cool. Um, the last three items, we still have the skin and the weapon. So 1800 now, probably the Arctic, yeah. And once again, no surprise, the last two items are the gun and the character skin. So all these posts you see on Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, the guys that got lucky and got something on their first or second spin, Yes, like it's one out of a hundred, okay? It will happen, and these are the only posts that you see on the social medias. Some guys that got the weapon on his fifth try, he's not going to post on Twitter, right? So let's go, guys. We're almost done. Probably the weapon, and then the skin on the last roll. Nice weapon, by the way. I've seen a lot of stuff on social medias about that weapon. Some guys say it's pay to win a little bit. But the thing is the mobility is a bit slow. So for rank multiplayer, if you're gonna play domination and you have low mobility, I don't know, but I heard it kills pretty fast. And the last one for 3,500 card points will be the Seraph skin freak show. There's the last one. Very nice skin, probably uh, one of the most beautiful skins in the game. And that's the reason I decided to buy the Lucky Draw this time. And then, like I said, I will pass on a lot of stuff. I didn't buy the, the Christmas one. I didn't buy the Transformer one. Uh, the Halloween one also. But this one, I wanted to have it. And probably the Bunny for, I think it's going to be Easter. Probably I'll go for it also. There's a few skins I really want. So let's equip everything, guys, and see what it looks like. Deploy with the backpack. Equip. Yeah, it's going to be lit. Uh, the weapon. HBR. We're going to upgrade it to max. I don't know if I have enough green cards. I think so. Yeah, I had thousands. All right, we're good. And then attachments. Usually on ARs, quick draw is always good. 
extended mag and foregrip. Foregrip, uh, I saw on on Discord. Maybe the foregrip is not necessary on that weapon because it's pretty accurate. But still, we'll try it, and then maybe FMJ could be another option. Yeah, maybe. So quick draw grip and extended mag. Now for the secondary weapon, I will still keep the SMRS because it's very good still in rank. Definitely for taking out the score streaks. I will go for some gameplay real quick, but I wanted to talk about the event real quick. So the questions I see about the new event, guys, is how to get knots and what to do with your knots. So if you go at the top of your events tab, it's the Lunar Festival Exchange Center. It's where you go to exchange your knots. And you can get multiple rewards. You'll have to make decisions because you cannot buy everything multiple times. But if you want to save knots, you can save 30 knots to get a LK24 skin or 16 knots for a Spec Ops Arctic a character skin, guys. And it's an uncommon. So yeah, might as well save for that if you don't go for everything. And then some of these rewards are repeatable. You can buy 10 times a Fearless Soldier crate to get Kravchenko and you can get credit now the question how to get knots well you have two different events first of all is the lunar festival challenge you gotta get kills in any mode up to 400 and you will get knots for every milestone and guys pro tip i heard the zombies count so you can go and kill 400 zombies and you'll get everything now there's another one for sending xp cards to your friends Guys, you can only send five every day. I see a lot of people panicking. Man, it's blocked. I cannot send more. So guys, you have to wait tomorrow to send five more and then Sunday to send five more and then Monday for the last three. So you cannot get everything on the first day here, guys. You have to wait. Okay, now let's go for a quick multiplayer, guys. We're gonna go farm some firecrackers. Six days left. We're gonna go free for all on Kill House. You know, it's my favorite mode to farm firecrackers. So let's do it. Free for all. Oh no, we spawn in the plywood, guys. There's gonna be a dude right here. Usually there's a dude there. And when I spawn here, right at the start, I shoot the plywood. And if you got like S36 with FMJ, free kill right at the start. The guy has no idea. But yeah, I don't know where's the dude. There should be a dude here. Maybe he's just not spawned yet. We'll go and... Yeah, we'll see. Probably there's a guy right there. When you play a lot, you kind of learn the spawns and get some tricks. All right, let's go and move. Nope, there's nobody. There's a dude there, though. I don't have FMJ, so I gotta chill with uh, shooting the walls. Yeah, the range. There's a dude there, right? I can hear him. Yeah, what I hear about that weapon is the, the range is pretty crazy. So you can take shots. See that? That's pretty sick. Oh, come on, dude. Where are you at? I'm gonna just bounce because they know I'm here. Dude, is that S36 evil clown? Uh, I need FMJ, I think. Don't kill me. Trip mine, really? And a smoke? Who does smoke on Kill House? We're gonna change spots. Don't wanna stay at the same place. Okay. I think I sold I stole someone's kill. Oh we got sentry gun man. Oh out of ammo? How do you run out of ammo? Yeah, sure. You can do that. I'm just gonna drop my sentry gun here and how do I run out of ammo? I'm gonna have to grab someone's gun here, man. What's that? PDW? Come on, man. I wanted to do a video of uh, the new weapon gameplay, but... Oh, we end up, like, playing a PDW. Stealth Chopper? Oof, I died. Well, okay, that's gonna solve my ammo problem. Oh, we losing. Someone's got 18. Uh, this is not good. 14. Can we make a comeback? The guy needs one. Hostile stealth chopper inbound. Oh, it's over. Oh, I don't know what happened. I died like once. 
And someone's got 20 kill like ASAP. Traymon, GG. This dude was fast. Nice kill cam, by the way. Traymon with the MSMC. How many firecrackers we got? That was a pretty cool game for real. Alright, so how many firecrackers for that 17 kills? Five firecrackers. That was pretty fast, guys. Two minutes for five firecrackers. Gotta love that. So, guys, that is it for today's video. Once again, the brand new HBR AR. Uh, first impression is the range. The weapons seem to be very accurate at long range. It's what everyone says, and you can see it in the gameplay. I was picking up fights that I usually don't win uh, with the AK-117 or other ARs. This one's very accurate at long range. And it kills pretty fast. So, so far so good. And hopefully they release a free version soon. You don't want this game to become pay to win. It's not good for anybody. I don't want pay to win in this game. It's not fair. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below. Drop the like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.